This review is on the movie Urban Myths. I'm the Anger Guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. To watch a trailer for the film Urban Myths, watch the get-go commercial with young people running around and them deciding what to do with a wielding chainsaw maniac chasing them around. This is not a feel-good review. Come on! This film should have been rated G and recommended for children. Make some popcorn. Enjoy a spooky, scary movie in the dark. Okay, first, look at all the awards the film Urban Myths received. Was it because of the great acting? Well, half the actors convinced me they were the characters they portrayed and the others were just themselves and didn't look into the camera. The amount of awards the film Urban Mess received was because of great cinematography? Was it because of the lack of blood they showed? Was it because the film was one hour and 31 minutes long and the first signs of any excitement in this film happened at the one hour and 15 minute mark? Or was it because the film went black at the 1 hour and 20 minute mark? Maybe it was the way the film Urban Myths ended. As people were walking, hugging each other, as they were making their way through the dark forest with a beautiful song playing in the background, and right behind them was a total carnage! Or did the film win all those awards because Kim Mary was the director, producer, writer for the film Urban Myths, and also the founder and president of Mirror Dog Productions. So with all those credentials, simply made the judges fall in love with her. The words delegate authority comes to mind. If you thought that you had the Michigan's best, let them prove themselves. I would imagine you would be an excellent mentor. The film was about, hold on, hold on, I will read part of the synopsis of the film. A group of high school seniors embark on a spring break camping trip. Let me stop you right there, stop right there. They did not have the balls to camp outside, so to encourage learning, you have high school seniors break into beautiful cabins that are locked up so they can enjoy a warm night sleeping in a soft bed. What the fuck? Talking about breaking into beautiful cabins, three of them got separated from the group one night and broke into a different cabin. They broke into a different cabin. And guess what? Mom, sis, the other three students, and even the high school teacher was there waiting to surprise them when they came in. Now how did they know what cabin those three were going to break into? I don't know. One point I must say the storyline was familiar but different enough to hold my interest until an aim action started to happen from the characters. I'm saying you had me right in the palm of your hand but little items kept coming up as if the director was treating the audience like fucking assholes, man. Listen to Dr. Estevez. If you can look right in here, now this is your spinal cord and here is the soft tissue mass that is jammed in there behind the spinal cord and here is a major artery on top of it. Now at least I think that's what I'm seeing. But I need to make sure, okay? So I want to send you downstairs for an MRA. He doesn't know the top part of the heart. What kind of doctor is he? That scene reminded me of uh, that commercial when the doctor, just before he enters the patient room, he yells down the hall. Hey, I just got reinstated yesterday. And then he proceeded to go to the patient and told him, don't worry, we'll figure this out as we go. <laughs> oh, man. Dr. Estevez mentioned uh, MRA. Never heard of one, so I looked it up. Someone mentioned being in the Army, and their MOS was. They said their MOS was a Ranger. I go, fuck you. You don't know anything about the military. You probably don't even know what a P P-38 is. MOS stands for Military Occupation Specialty, meaning a specific job you do in the military. Example, 05 Fox Truck was my MOS, that is Radio Teletype Rider Operator. You have an MOS before becoming a Ranger. Not the other way around. Here's another tip. Don't pick four beautiful women that have the same characteristics. I'm not gender profile. Think about it. Everyone is going to use a younger, skinnier picture of themselves instead of what they look like in the movie. We spent over an hour downloading pictures and parts of the film to watch who was who. Because in the credits for the film, they only listed the last two names on characters. 
And I wasn't about to rewatch this film to try to pick up everyone's name by someone mentioning it or watching the subtitles. Out of ten, I give this film a six. That is a D in my world. Thank you for commenting and thank you for watching. The correct story about the two wolves. <sighs> An elderly Cherokee Bray was trying to explain to his son about in every person there are two wolves. One wolf is full of anger and he's evil. The other one is full of joy and he's good. And after the story, the grandson was thinking a little bit. He said, well, grandfather, which one wins? The old Cherokee replied, that one that you feed. Whoa! That's pretty, that's pretty gnarly, isn't it?